this is some of the remaining prickly acacia left on the project site simply because the environmental area here contains native timber and two riparian zones. Um, this, this, these areas will be teased out later with a smaller machine and some uh, spray and also some spot spraying. The area to the left now has been chain pulled. We've got the the site uh, managing prickly acacia at Eagerman Station. What you see in the in the um, backdrop there, the dark green uh, um, vegetation on the left of the screen will be uh, Glen Yarra Station, um, the boundary neighbour, and then as you move across you, in the foreground you'll see previously cleared prickly acacia um, pasture with the wind windrows just burnt, um, the, the grey ash, and then behind that with the lemon lemon looking grass in the foreground, and then behind that the brown area is the project site, and it comes right across the screen uh, over towards the Inkerman Station homestead on the right. There's a large area of vegetation left that hasn't been uh, uh, chain pulled yet, uh, and I'll talk to that in a moment. But just back to the the area in the in the immediate front of the of the um, screen, you'll see uh, a, there is a dozer down there working a D9 with a large stick rake. Stick raking those windrows that you can see there, the brown, dark brown strips, they're yeah. windrows ready to be burnt. And within a couple of days, we'll move across the road and start um, stick raking the, um, the right hand side of the road. And then the final uh, work needs to be done in the environmental or vegetated area where there are two streams that we have to very carefully uh, pick the acacia and chine apple and rubber vine out of and then we'll be left the task of a large area of prickly acacia within that vegetated area to, to ensure that no um, reinfestation occurs from seeds coming out of that particular area. And then the remainder of Inkerman Station, the, the strategy is to spot spray any individual trees um, outside the project site and for the landholder to manage over a, with a, uh, within a five year plan any um, seedlings or, or any new growth. I guess um what moving forward for the landholders, like what what are their aspirations for the the project site? Well, they've indicated to, to council and and the other project partners that they, they their sole intention is is at this stage um, is developing the property up to its full potential as a grazing property again. Um, you'll see that just under their own um, funding, they've cleared the the section to the back of the project site was a large area of of chiny apple and you can still see remaining chiny apple behind the fork, fawn coloured area. I, I'd estimate that to be around about 150 to 200 hectares that they've just um, that they've just cleared and are still stick raking and, uh, and burning themselves of chiny apple outside of the project site. The project site is completely fenced and that happened over a decade ago with, local, with our local government uh, pest management plan. The landholders agreed to to maintain, the, up, upgrade the standard of the fencing and, and um, maintain all the animals, the feral animals or wild animals that couldn't, be, that couldn't be yarded, they maintained them within that patch instead of letting them go out um, and through their dropping spread acacia all over the property. So there was a containment strategy set on in place a, a decade ago and that's, that's held that property in good stead. Whereas the, to the left of the screen here you can see that without containment and control a, quite a light, larger area of acacia still still exists. So I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased that the new owners have taken it upon themselves to, to to move out into that. It's a class two declared plant as well, but it's not as invasive as acacia. And so we were looking at the acacia in the first instance as a, as the um, as, as the main target species. Wands to uh, weed as well. As well, so. it's a wand, yeah.